Hey guys! Okay, so I'm sitting here waiting for the replay from tonight's group growth mastermind membership meeting. There are too many words in that title. Um, tonight's group training. I'm just uploading the video. And first of all, first of all, for my first go at having a membership, I am pleased to announce that there are now 25 amazing people learning my Facebook group growth strategy. And I'm pretty excited about that. You know what, I, I wanted to make a membership of some sort this year. And I wanted it to do something that I hadn't taught anybody, but I, I felt like I was knowledgeable about and that I saw there was room in the market for somebody to teach this. Um, but actually the reason why, and this is the point of this video, the reason why I ended up choosing Facebook group growth and monetizing Facebook groups as the thing that I did my membership on is because I asked around and I asked people like, like, okay, yes, I'm a Facebook ad strategist. I do social media marketing, but I asked around, I asked my audience, like, what do you guys think that I am the best at? Like what in your mind do I, you know, stand out as being an expert at? And this wasn't something that I, occurred to me because it's just kind of naturally part of like how I interact on social media. But the response that I got was everybody was like, community building, you build great communities. You're really good at creating awesome communities on Facebook. And of course they were talking about the Facebook groups that I run and the feedback primarily came from people who are aware of my entrepreneurial ventures, but also um, hang out and are active in my Riot Girl Rebirth Facebook group. And if you guys um, follow me, you maybe have seen me talk about that group, but it started out as like an anti-mom group and it, it kind of just grew into this just awesome little online community. And yes, I do sell merch um, to that community. So we have right now, we're in the middle of a merch launch. So there's pins and patches and different things. And I have made money from that group but it's a community first and foremost. Like people have made friends with each other. Um, there's been collaborations, there's been game nights, there's been all sorts of cool things that have come from this, this Facebook group. And then I also, and I'm very lucky for this, but one of the reasons why I think this happened is because uh, I've always been part of Facebook groups and one of my favorite was Freedom Hackers Mastermind. And then in August, my friend Kimmer Luna gave that group to me. So I had to reactivate it because it had been pretty dead. Um, and so I started working on using my group growth strategies that I was using for, for different things to bring that group back to life. So if you're in either of those groups, um, which are both the groups that I asked, like, what do you think I'm really good at? And they're like, community building. Brandy, you are really good at community building. That was something people told me about me. Um, because as an ad strategist, yeah, I know how to do some cool things with Facebook ads. Um, but, you know, everybody wants to find their thing. And for me, like... You know, if money was no object, what would I do with my time? What would I what would I be doing? I'd probably be building communities. I have such a good time on social media because of the way that I do social media. But at first, so at first I was like, well, I can't teach community building because it's really difficult. Yeah, I can teach people the ad strategy I use to build the groups because there's an ad strategy. But how do I teach people how to like be good community hosts? How do I like basically... <laughs> take their indoctrination about how they think you need to run a Facebook group and then show them the way that I do Facebook groups and then, you know, get them to buy into that and, and try it because my way is, I think, totally different. Uh, you have to be in the groups to kind of get the full context of that, but that's why I'm doing the demo groups so people can see. Uh, but honestly, like, I'm like, can I teach people this? Because like what most people do with Facebook groups, I would say is fundamentally actually incorrect. Like this this kind of like, I am the leader of this Facebook group and everybody's here to hear me talk and I'm the expert and I'm using this group to sell. And those groups are really boring and they fall apart really quickly or they don't get a lot of engagement. I call it kind of like that soapbox thing where the person like climbs up on the stage and talks at people rather than with people. That's what a lot of Facebook groups are like right now. And they're not a lot of fun. They don't grow very quickly. And Facebook does not give them a lot of reach with the algorithm because they have no activity. 
Now, the way that I do Facebook groups, and again, it goes back to you kind of have to be in my groups to kind of get the whole vibe. It's hard for me to describe my process. But the way that I do it on a fundamental level is it's about creating that community atmosphere. Yes, it is my group. I'm hosting the group, but it's really meant for everybody to mingle and make friends and have fun and get value, as they like to say. And that's how I run my groups, community, like community focused. And because of that, that's why my groups have a lot of visibility. I was just showing the insights to my my membership um to my membership folks showing them like the insights and Facebook would show you like how many people are in your group but they also show you how many people are active in your group and in my groups we are reaching like all of the members all of the members are seeing the content in the group in fact it was funny because Facebook was glitching because we had such substantial group growth today we had about a hundred new members come in that Facebook was actually reporting more people being active in the group than are actually in the group because the insights hadn't caught up with the group growth that we'd had in just one day and if you've been following my demonstration I'm showing how I'm growing this group of about a hundred members per day but you know what it's, it's like there's the technical strategy behind it there's an ad, yeah, there's, there's an opt-in sequence that's also building the list. There's a lot of things going on on the technical side, but then inside of the actual community where the content lives, that, that a lot of that's heart, a lot of that is something that, I, you know, I try to teach it. I try to, I try to tell people in the membership like how to nurture their communities and do so in a genuine way. Um, I'm trying to kind of like teach them my philosophy around community building and why it like is beneficial to your business and why it's a really good way to build an audience, um, generate leads for your business, to even like launch a product because the product that I'm launching to this brand new demo group is gonna be completely new. It's, it's gonna be a new product. Um, and so basically, yeah, that's what I mean. Like I'm trying to teach them my way of building these communities. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm gonna have a sip of this buble here, some bubbly buble. Do you guys like these? If you enjoy yourself some some bubles, some bubbles, let me know. Oh, it's the worst thing to drink when you have to talk because it gives you like like gassy bubbles in your throat. But that's all I have. So okay, so I thought for today's video, I wanted to go live and I wanted to share with you guys my argument about why community-based selling is the best way to grow your business right now, specifically on Facebook. So I talked to you a little bit about how, like, you know, the problem, if you, if you know what I'm talking about if you know what I'm talking about with Facebook groups, okay, you guys, you know what I'm talking about. Like, you go into this group, and then there's some expert entrepreneur, and they're just running the group for their launch, and it's clear that they just want you there so they can sell you the thing, and, and like nobody else is allowed to post or be an expert, God forbid. And it's just really non-collaborative and it's not really a community. And so the way that I teach this or talk about it, and you guys may have heard me say this before, is it's the difference between hosting a group and there's an event where you're supposed to talk on a stage or you're teaching a workshop or creating a group and hosting it in a way where, for instance, you are, um, <laughs> Peace says she likes mango bubbly. Um, you're hosting it in a way that you are like, hosting a network event. So like if you're hosting a really great networking event and there's a bunch of people there and you're still the host and you're still getting credit for having it, but the intention is that people meet each other and interact with one another and it's not all about you. So there's two types of Facebook groups and I think especially in the entrepreneur business space, the one way, the way we don't like, the way that feels icky, the way that doesn't do you really any good with the algorithm, is the way that's being taught. And the way that I run my groups, ooh, I almost dropped my phone. Uh, the way that I run my groups are, are the opposite of that. Is like, we post a lot of memes, like nobody's like the boss or the authority. I mean, I do, you know, manage and moderate the group, but for the most part, like everybody's welcome to speak. Everyone's welcome to gain value. Um, we're interacting with each other a lot. People are making friends with each other, not just with me. They're not all viewed as prospects to sell, but you kind of let the community lead the direction of the group. And even though, yes, I do have, like I said, a monetization model in mind when I'm building my communities or ways that I'm going to be making revenue from it, it's really it comes from like a, just a genuine place of like if more people know about me if more people you know get to know me and see you know how i am who i am my personality what i'm all about then positive opportunities will definitely come from that and then i make sure everything's optimized so that like the opportunities that i want so for instance with my entrepreneur group making sure that i'm generating leads for my for my ads agency and then with like radical rebirth making sure people know that the merch 
you know, is even available to purchase. And that's all I have to do to make money from my communities. And everything else is just having a good time. The ads do most of the work. They bring people in. And all I have to do is have fun. All I have to do is show up, have fun, be consistent, create a welcoming and warm platform for other people. Continuously, you know, interact in the comments and... And you know, like it's easy. It's the easiest thing. I've done a lot of different, you know, marketing strategies over the years. I've tried a lot of tactics and the genuine build a community, connect with people in a genuine way. And then when the opportunity arises, you know, let the pieces fall into place the way they will. It, it really is like, it's like strategy without a strategy. It's, it's no manipulation. You just, you just put your heart into building a great community and all the rest will follow. That's kind of that's kind of what it's all about, this community-based selling. Now, community-based selling I do with Facebook groups because, you know, Facebook is my jam. I do Facebook ads. I have a Facebook ad strategy that grows a group, so it automates the growth of the group. Like I said, you still have to do the work to interact in your community. Um, but you can do community-based selling anywhere. You could do it in Reddit. You could do it on Discord. You could do it on Instagram. Community-based selling to me is about, you know, like, okay, first... First and foremost, I, I'm, I'm forming connections with my audience. I am letting people get to know me, and I also take a genuine interest in getting to know them. God forbid we, we get that grassroots, but that's what it's all about. It's crazy to me how we've lost sight of that, like, you know, basic networking 101. You know, you have to give value to get value. Everybody wants to be viewed as an expert these days. There is nothing, you know, that that's special about any individual entrepreneur anymore if that's how they're marketing because they are trying to get attention and be viewed as an expert before they've even achieved anything. Because yes, okay, if you're a household name, if you're, you're, you're Gary V, you're Amy Porterfield, a Barufalo, one of the ones that like, you know, everybody loves to rave about, they're a household name. That's the level they're at. That's, that's how much their, their expertise is respected and trusted. And when they are talking, yes, you know what, that, that's some high value information. We should all sit down and shut up. But most of us are not at that level. Most of us, you know, people are not viewing us as this household name, this expert guru. And so for what's the alternative for us? Well, the alternative for us is until we get there, <laughs> until we get there, it's, it's just to make those genuine network connections um, and be kind of like a facilitator, I think, of, you know, helping other people get what they want, being good at connecting people to each other, providing value, maybe in the form not of like, okay, I'm always talking at you and trying to get you to listen to me. I'm an expert. I'm your teacher. I'm your guru. But instead creating opportunities where other people can connect and benefit. And then, you know, every once in a while, I'll throw in, you know, some, some truth bombs, some, some facts, some good info. I'm going to multitask right now. I have to upload this and then I get to go home and have dinner with my kids. So yeah, I just wanted to get on here and explain like, why am I doing group growth? Why did I decide to make that the topic of my mastermind this year? Why did I start a mastermind membership around Facebook group, group growth? Well, two things, right? I have a Facebook ad strategy that is a powerful freaking ad strategy, okay? It automates the growth of your Facebook group. You plug these ads in, you follow the instructions, and your group will grow auto automatic. It will be niche interest group members, people that the content of your group is relevant to. We can automate all of that with a Facebook ad. But then the other reason why I'm teaching this is because, like I said, I think... I think there's something I can bring to the table as far as teaching people how to create this community vibe. Um, there is some technical, you know, things that I do, but there are also just some, you know, philosophies or ideas that I have about community building that I want to share with as many people as possible. I, I think that if more people did Facebook, Facebook marketing the way that, you know, it used to be, frankly, like, I don't even feel like I'm inventing this because it used to be, like, Facebook groups used to be more like the way I do them. Um, then more people would, you know, have more fun, first of all. So having fun, if that's important to you, you'd be having a better time. But more people would be growing faster with less effort because they would be focusing, again, on the, the old-fashioned networking, the old-fashioned community building, the old-fashioned, like, you know, showcasing your knowledge base and expertise, but also you know, hanging out with other people who are interested in the same things that you are and having 
just a damn good time. Um, community marketing, uh, I don't know if that's the word that exists out in the zeitgeist, but community-based marketing, that's what it is to me. It's like build community, let people get to know me, um, let people get to know each other, be a great facilitator, be a great host, and then just reap all the negative, <laughs> reap all the negative, reap all the positive consequences of that. Uh, well, that was a candid moment, but no, reap all the positive and sometimes the negative because that'd be a whole other video, but there are some things that I can talk about that, that aren't great about running like large Facebook communities. All right, so I think I'll wrap on that. Um, if you have any questions or you're interested in joining my group growth membership mastermind, um, in week two here, we have some people, they've got their ads plugged in, their groups are starting to grow. Um, we are working towards everybody getting their group growing off the ground. We're focusing on email list building as well. So you're gonna build your email list from your group. And we are focusing on everybody getting a good product because the end goal is, um, through this mastermind that everybody will be launching and selling a product to their group using community focused selling. Um, and I'm so excited. It's been my next year working with people in this. That was my elbow. I did not fart. It just rubbed against there, but it did sound like I tooted. All right. You guys have a great evening. Um, I'm going to upload this now. I was not able to multitask and do them at the same time and talk to you guys at the same time, but thank you for watching until the end. Those do, if you have any questions or if you would like to take a look at the demo group and follow the zero to 1000 group build process, I'm now doing a zero to 1000 email list subscriber process, but you can go back and look at how I did it in 10 days. It was, it was a phenomenal fast group growth. Um, with the ad, but also like this group that I'm building is just incredible. I'm so excited to be working on it. I am so excited about everything that I'm working on. Thank you for watching. Peace. Thanks for watching. You have been with me this whole time. Um, yeah. So if you have any questions about Facebook groups, if you're interested in joining the mastermind, let me know in the comments. If you're watching on the replay, say hello. Thanks again for watching. Bye.